You may have heard of some of the benefits of cold showers, but I want to show you another way to get some of the benefits of cold exposure. I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I want to help you live, perform, and feel your best regardless of any age or injuries. Now, we've talked a lot about cold exposure in recent videos. We've talked about some of the health benefits in terms of better circulation and immune function and, and maybe heart health and weight loss and increased metabolism and you know lower uh, bouts of, or issues with depression and more energy, all sorts of things like that. And there are ways to do it. Like I've shown in a prior video, you can do cold showers. You can do whole body cryotherapy that I've shown, those cold uh, nitrogen tanks that get to like 187 degrees Celsius below zero uh, and do that for three minutes. Uh, now that can be expensive and depending on where you live, you may not have access to that. If you follow Wim Hof, the Iceman, who creates the Iceman um, or the Wim Hof method, and it's basically you know a number of different things, but one of the features of that is cold exposure. One of the things that he suggests and his team suggests to start getting yourself acclimated to cold exposure and get some of the health benefits, one would be cold showers, but another one is this daily exercise where you put your hands in an ice bucket. And so uh, I've never done this before. I do the cold showers every day. I think they work great. I do cold or whole body cryotherapy uh, fairly regularly after workout, so I know that, but I've never done this. The way it works is you fill a bucket, and I'm gonna use this large serving bowl uh, with ice water. and you're gonna put your hands in it for about two minutes and then basically see uh, at that point, uh, at first it's gonna be almost painful apparently and then it supposedly starts to feel better and you do that a couple times a day. So you can do it either for two minutes max or you can stop before two minutes as your hands start feeling warm again while they're in the water. So we'll see how this goes. This could be awful, but I'm gonna try it here for the first time. Hey Siri, set a timer for two minutes. All right, we're gonna put my hands in the cold water and holy cow, that already hurts. Oh, now they encourage that you uh, breathe deeply, breathe regularly, so I will try to do that when I'm not talking. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. Oh, pain, this is not feeling good like they describe in the book just yet. Now apparently what happens at first is your body sort of constricts the blood vessels to your hands to prevent cold loss, or to prevent heat loss I should say. Can't even think well, it hurts so much. Wow, this is uncomfortable. Uh, maybe going for the two minutes because it is not started feeling, my hands do not feel warm yet. Hey Siri, how much time left? All right, so about 30 seconds left. Still have not felt that warmth yet. This is brutal cold. I don't know, it's starting to actually get better. All right, there's our two minutes. Hey Siri, stop the timer. All right, you can see my hands, they're fairly red as, as you might expect uh, as the, I guess the blood vessels, the little capillaries and all have increased blood flow. Uh, it's one way to try it. 
Seems to me that cold showers are the better way to go. Uh, this was more painful, but it is the first time I've tried it. If you have medical issues, uh, diabetes or any other medical issues where you know cold exposure to your extremities may not be the world's best idea, check with a doctor. Always a good idea when you're trying you know, treatments like this to check with a doctor, see if it's right for you. But if you're interested in the benefits of cold exposure and you want to you know, try something other than uh, maybe the, the cold showers, this may be a good start before you get into things like whole body cryotherapy or ice baths. I hope this was helpful. If you have suggestions on other things you'd like to see, tips and strategies to feel and perform your best regardless of age or injuries, leave those in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.